Hi guys, welcome to this channel. It's Mix from the Mix Creation. Remember, when we talk about resigning, we talk about the probation period, we talk about the employment laws. Remember, in most of these Gulf countries, they have what you call labor laws, or what you call the employment laws. There's a little bit of something that you should understand clearly regarding these particular countries or regarding these countries or where you are. You may be in Oman, you may be in Kuwait, you may be in UAE, you may be in Saudi Arabia. Wherever you are, you may have to understand what the employment law states. In today's video, we want us to share there is a problem in one of the subscribers. He has a problem, he's living in UAE. Let us try to share out and see. If you feel you can also try to advise, you can get in the comment section. You can give your, your, your view and we try to see how we can help this person generally out of this whole mess. I'll just read what he said to me and this is, this is what it goes. I joined the Dubai based company three months back. However, have been paid less. 50% of the salary that was stipulated in the contract have decided to resign. I claim my pending salary over the last three months. My boss advised me when resigning, I have to pay dirham 6,000 for the visa cancellation. What does it mean? Remember, this is a person that joined the company. It is just six months within the probation. Something that I need to let you know, the probation period in Dubai or probation period in the UAE is supposed to be six months. However, for this kind of situation right now, this person joined this company in six months. But however, even in the course of the six months, the first three months of payment were 50%, meaning that he was paid half of what was agreed in the contract. Hope we are, we are still on the same line. He was paid half of what was agreed in the contract. Contract. First of all, something that you need to notice out, out, out of that is the breach of the contract. If your employer pays you less than what he agrees in the contract, that is the breach of the contract. But at the same case, at the same case, he thinks of resigning, leaving the company because he's not seeing anything good out of the company. But the employer tells him that he has to pay dirham 6,000, that is for what you call the visa cancellation fee. In your own view, in your own view and your opinion, who should he pay or not pay the amount of the money? All right, let's go into the video and so I say, remember, when we are looking at in the UAE, we look at uh, in the UAE, then we look at the employment law. There was new labor laws that we have brought into effect in 2022. And remember, one of the employees, one of the labor laws, one of the rules of the new employment law in the UAE says that in case in any situation, things get out of hand, you can resign even the probation period. However, how does it come? Yes, you can resign even during the probation period. But remember, even your employer can terminate you during the probation period. In case both of you, or in case one of either side, does not move, or in a case any of either side breaches what you call the contract that was signed. So if any one party breaches the contract, if he does not move with the contract, you control it. You as the employee, you can move or you can resign and go with the, during the probation period. If, if your employer, if you the employee breaches the contract that you sign with your employer, then probably you, even your employer has the right to terminate you before even you complete your, your probation period. But again, the case is that who bears the cost? Who bears the entitlement? In case it is a visa cancellation, who bears the visa cancellation fee? That is what we need to understand. That's what we want to understand. For those people who are living in the UAE, if you are living in the UAE, if you are working in Abu Dhabi, if you are working in Syria, you are working in the free zone, if you are working in Altawan, if you are working in um, uh, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Syria, 
you are working in the free zone, let us try to know what it should be and what are you supposed to do. Remember, when you sign your contract, you sign a contract with your employer. Read and clearly understand the rules and the speculation and the clauses in that contract. When your employer breaches one of the contracts, for this case, this employer is, is paying 50% of the salary, meaning that in the salary that was agreed in the contract, the employer is paying this person half of the salary for three months. He's only paying him half. Meaning that this employer has already breached what we call the contract. He has gone against the contract rules. What are you supposed to do? In this case, this person can resign. But remember, we have a resignation which can be submitted in a notice with a notice period of one month and there's what you call a notice period of two months. In this case, this person has not yet finish up the probation, meaning that there's notice period, first you have to understand the notice period of re uh, resignation is supposed to be one month. But before you resign, yes, I'm already giving in my resignation for one month, what am I supposed to do? Go to the Ministry of uh, Human Resource and Immunization. Report your case. Report your employer. That is what the law says in the UAE. That is what it says in accordance to what you call the Article 45 of the Employment Law in the UAB. It says if you feel your employer is breaching the contract that you sign. In this case, the employer is breaching the contract. Write, go, write your reason, then report this person to the Ministry of Human Resources and Emulatization in the Resources. Within the 14 days of your resignation, Remember, I quote, it's supposed to be in the 14 days, before the 14 days of your resignation, you are supposed to submit your complaint to the Human Resource the Department, the Ministry of Human Resource and Emeritization in the UAE. And what is going to happen? The Ministry will notify, the Ministry will notify your employer about your resignation and about your complaint. If your employer does not, if your employer does not remit, if your employer does not change or he's not willing to cooperate, then you can resign. According to the ministry or according to the ministry, you can resign and move without even paying a single coin or without even paying the visa cancellation. That is what is against the law. And remember, in this case, if your employer does not respond, the ministry will the ministry will advise him to pay all the settlements that he owes to you. All the money, all the settlements, let's be anything that a single coin that you demand from your employer will be paid for that case. That is what again, that is what what is that is what the law says. It will be paid up. So meaning at that time, you do not pay anything at all because he breached the contract that you signed and he was not willing to be positive or willing to change or respond to what the ministry said, then you can go free. Hope I've tried to cancel you out. So for this case, in this case, your employer has to pay back all the money that he not paying the three months, then also any settlement or any area that he has to pay to you, he has to pay them according to what you call the law. Because according to the law, if the employer breaches the contract and does not does not actively remit or respond according to the ministry, he has no obligation to charge you any amount of money, either directly or indirectly. It may be, it may be, uh, even if it is visa cancellation key, uh, fees, even if it is visa, he has no right to charge you that amount of money. Hope I've tried to share with you uh, something. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. And if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider supporting this channel by subscribing to this channel. Remember, it's makes from the next creation. See you again in the next video.